worked upon because food works basically on the physical body. Good. The same thing, when you take anything that you want to work on any one of them, even though that particular one is work on more, the rest of them are also affected. Okay. So in every life, every particular life, every human being works on one more than the rest. Whether you are conscious of it or you are not conscious of it, you are working on one more than the rest. But the rest are also affected correspondingly. Yeah. That's exactly what That's how it works. Exactly. Uh, brother Louis, do you want to add a bit yeah, to Yeah, so, so just an addition to what he had the explanation to, to, to bring a real life situation okay. for our listeners to understand what this means. You see, let's take thinking for instance. It's a very complex process which does not only involve the physical brain but also the etheric brain, the, vi the vital body, the desire body and the mind itself. For instance, when the ego or the spirit observes the impressions from the outer world, upon the vital body through the senses you know the senses the eyes the nose the mouth and the rest are the points of entry of impact from external environments so, so those things are not just there for being the sick no but they are tools to be used by the spirit exactly to, to know what is in the external environment exactly what is coming and how to react exactly so they receive these external impressions which reflect on the vital body and through the senses and together with the feelings generated by them because any impressions you have when you hear loud noise it you you jerk yeah. when you hear beautiful music it involves your vital body so together with the feelings generated by them are mirrored or image in the mind and these become thought forms uh, because from these images the ego or the spirit forms conclusions which are simply ideas so you could see straight away that thinking involves all the bodies right away through to the mind and these are done in split seconds but it these ideas do you want to act upon them yes or no when you decide to act upon them it involves the same all the four uh, bodies because for instance the ego, if it wants to act and react to the impression it has, the observation it has from the outside world, it then uses the willpower, its willpower, and then projects this idea into the mind, which takes a form of a thought form and, and, and gather mind stuff around it. And this thought form then clothe itself in desire stuff, obtained from our desire body. So this becomes composite a, a, a thought form yeah. which is made up of desire stuff and mind stuff yes. and with this composite stuff they are able to act upon the etheric brain so the etheric brain comes first before the physical Be brain. before the physical brain okay. because it is built but uh, organ by organ yes only that that one is invisible yes. so it makes is able to act upon the etheric brain which propels the vital force the force in there the force in self to act upon the etheric centers, the, the, the brain centers, yeah, the yeah. appropriate brain centers, and then the nervous systems through to the uh, uh, voluntary muscles, and this produce action. Yes. So the thought process is a, a complex one that involves all the bodies. And this happened in split seconds. Split, split seconds. Not, not, not a long time. Yes, exactly. Yes. Now, uh, Brother Effa, yep. uh, talking about the mind, we 